Okay, so I haven't made a video on this channel for quite a while and then the last one I uploaded was predictably unusual. If you got the metaphor, congratulations. If you didn't, well, what can I say? This channel has been dying a slow death mainly because I've not been nurturing it or nourishing it. Um, and partly because I've been distracted with real life and a ongoing project to build and develop CNC machines. But I'm coming to a stage now where I feel like that very intricate, slightly geeky work can now come back to this a little bit more wider platform. And um, I can use the machines that I'm building in projects that may help develop an interest in the technology. The first thing I should mention is I've got rid of quite a few woodworking tools. I got rid of my table saw, I got rid of the bench planer and a few other things that I felt I just wasn't using enough. And with the money I made from selling those, I bought more parts to build more CNC machines. This is the latest one that I've designed and all the plates are made out of Velcromat. And it's surprisingly rigid. Um, I still need to work on the electronics, but I have a very positive feeling that this machine is going to be the one. Talking about selling, I've got an announcement to make about parting with some of the artifacts from these videos and this channel, but I'll do that at the end. So you'll need to listen to me prattle on about CNC machines for a little while longer. Where was I? Yes, the one. It's going to be the machine that I'll be able to sell the plates and produce a manual so other people can affordably build this type of machinery and use it to make things. But saying that, I haven't sold all my tools, I've kept a few things. I kept that vise because it's priceless. I kept that pillar drill because it's useful. I kept this micro drill in case I get rid of the big one. I kept the heater because it gets cold in here. I kept the air scrubber because of dust. And I still got the extractor over there, although I'm tempted to get rid of that and get a better one. I kept this cutoff saw, which I used to cut the aluminium profile. To hold on to this space and to still have time to do these videos, I need to rethink how I work and how I produce money from this activity. And I get some from the um, advertising of Google. I also have a great core group of uh, patrons who support me in particular with the CNC machines. Um, and one of the ideas I've had now or what I've been planning to do is to sell or build or provide some of the plans and information to build CNC machines and to also provide one-to-one -one or small group workshops um, in relation to getting set up with a machine and learning how to use them. So I'd be curious to kind of get people's feedback on that side of things, whether they'd be interested to see more of that, whether they would consider booking onto a workshop and how much they think would be a worthwhile amount to pay for, say a day, say 10 to four, or 10.30 to four, with a half hour lunch. Talking about lunch, this bag of what used to be a thousand chopsticks is slowly running out. There is a legend saying that once the bag of chopsticks expires, I will no longer have this studio space. So I'm having to dramatically reduce my lunches at the local Chinese takeaway. This is a machine that I've built recently which is fully working and has a quite interesting controller that allows me to work very quickly um, milling and producing different parts for the CNC machine. And this is where the electronics are enclosed. On one side I've got the frequency drive which controls the spindle and on the left side I've got the electronics which has the interfaces and the NVR switch and so on. I've got a very in-depth set of videos about these uh, where I look at some of the features and 
try and design and build them in a way that makes them suitable for the type of environment that I imagine the machine being in, which is educational. And this is the latest machine here. And those are the feet for the machine, which I just made. And I can't explain, once you start using machines like this, you factor them into how you build things and it can make building certain things a lot easier especially things with repeatable shapes and patterns and things which allow you to kind of take a step back and remove yourself away from the the process making it a little bit safer so depending on certain materials you may be working with you don't want to breathe those in so you can enclose this and Blah blah blah, okay you get the idea, I love CNC machines, but when I started there was a noticeable reaction by people who didn't. They seemed like the sort who didn't like change in general, and they were quite vocal about it. But I think automation is fascinating, and if I can learn how to build and use these machines, anyone can. And like most new ideas, like not being racist or sexist, or the minimum wage, or eating vegetables, first people ignore you, then they think you're mad, then they fight you, then they think they had the idea and it's a brilliant idea, and they can't remember not having the idea, as if they grew up on the idea, maybe they learnt it at baby school, while you sit there pulling your hair out in silence. And while I said using a CNC machine makes some activity easier and safer, the reality is we who do this choose to build CNC machines not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And we also secretly hope somehow the hard task will be rewarded with a means of providing an income which renders the day job obsolete. Anyway, back to the boring sounds that come out of my head. Okay, I shoved all the scrap wood that I want to keep over here. The table is now gone. And the tabletop from that is secured to this cabinet, which I can move around while I'm working on this particular machine. Okay, that's too boring. Let me interrupt. I want to say something. If you think that the moon landing didn't happen, or the earth is flat, and that global warming isn't occurring, or building CNC machines is pointless, you might as well move here to the UK if you don't already live here, and prepare for the dark ages of isolation. Because nothing says we're open for business like offending everyone. Ironically, there is a restaurant that has this business model and I don't eat there anymore. I mean, the last thing I'm gonna mention is that I'm planning to put some of the artifacts from this room and from the channel up on eBay uh, to raise a bit more funds for the CNC build. These will include the coconut ear defenders, the Blade Runner-esque lampshade. This is definitely not to be used, this is just as a prop. A chop saw with the base that I made. And if I can find a few more things which I haven't already thrown away, I'll list those as well and I'll provide the links in the description below. And what I'll do is I'll start them as an auction, listing will be quite cheap, so possibly 30 to 40 quid to start with. Um, ideally I'd prefer someone came to collect the items that they bought, uh, but I can post them, but obviously depending where you are, we would have to work out how much that costs, so uh, just bear that in mind. Anyway, I'm out. To add a level of authentication, I'll add a certificate of authentication, a little bit like the ones provided when you buy a square meter of the moon. But unlike the moon, if these items don't sell, I will smash them into tiny little pieces and throw them away. And to spite you all, I won't film it so you can't even enjoy the spectacle. <laughs> Thank you.